The Gowanus Canal in Brooklyn has a really bad rep, but one man wants to help change that by swimming in it. Christopher Swain plans to take the plunge in the polluted waters tomorrow, but tonight he's telling our Matt King why it's worth the risk. If you've ever been to the beach at the end of the day and there's some kid, like they're screaming at him to get out, you know, it's time to go. I was that kid. On Wednesday, now 47 years old, that kid will need no extra motivation to get out of the water. This is only 1.8 miles long, but it's probably the most polluted 1.8 miles you could find anywhere in the country. Christopher Swain plans to swim through this slop, through the carcinogens, the radioactive materials, and the arsenic detected in a popular science investigation, through the oil and gas slicks, the bacteria and the viruses, and through a whole lot of sewage. Because poops in the water, basically. To save his body from whatever punishment this brown-green oozing excuse for water might deal it, Chris purchased a dry suit. I'll swim like my grandmother, head up, breaststroke. But Chris's grandmother never swam through a trough of sewage like the Gowanus. So Chris also plans to don a cap, goggles, earplugs, and some sort of impenetrable lube to keep out the microscopic monsters lurking in the festering shallows through which he swims. I could end up with diarrhea or dysentery or something. No one knows how sick the Gowanus might make the man who swallowed a sip of its smoldering slime or allowed its slightly moving muck to touch his skin because no man's ventured beneath this scummy surface no sunlight can penetrate to explore the death that lives below. That's spiked with toxic chemicals, heavy metals, coal tar residue, and everything anybody ever threw in the canal in the last 200 years. Factories lining this gutter of poison dumped into it whatever they pleased for a century. The environmental Protection Agency has now committed $500 million to clean it up. And that's why a man who swam the length of some of this nation's most sparkling waterways traveled to New York to inspire us all to fix the Gowanus by becoming the first man to willingly swim the length of its watery trench, marinating 200 years of all this city's excrements. I imagine a Gowanus that's not some stinking cesspool dumping ground. I imagine a Gowanus that's a diamond that's clean enough to swim, that glitters in the sun. In Gowanus, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.